Hello everyone out there, it is time for our grand finals. It is going to be a run back between Snipe and Hibimoto. Uh, joining me in the booth now, um, a slightly different change of pace here. Um, thank you so much to JB for coming in and doing commentary. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it very much. Um, I wish I'd give him a better send off, uh, but that last match was so incredible. I just kind of gapped a little bit, um, but uh, yeah, uh, joining me in the booth, we're I'm not going to be alone here. Uh, we are going to have our, our monthly check of commentary stalwart, Betty B, joining us for this match. Betty, how's it going? Oh, going great. I've been enjoying the commentary you and JB have been providing, but uh, it wouldn't be a Virus Buster final, or sorry, not Virus Buster, monthly checkup <laughs> final without me mm -hmm. here calling it with you. I wouldn't have it any other way. You're more than welcome <laughs> to be here. Uh, alrighty, uh, I am going to get these guys going. We've seen it in Winner's Final, Snipe edging out Hibimoto 3-2. to two. And just as a reminder, Hibimoto is going to require uh, two wins in order to uh, take down the tournament, um, whereas Snipe will need only one best of three to make it happen. So, uh, it's late enough. It's been, this has gone on. Uh, so, and it's been an amazing time, but we, we gotta, we gotta see, uh, who takes it all. We've got to decide the winner of this tournament. So I'm going to give these guys the signal and let's get started. I'm really curious to see if we get any sort of uh, roof strats like we saw. We've seen both players do it at sh very sh sparingly against some other opponents, but really mostly against each other. Um, really interesting strategy that doesn't really seem to... I, I, I only really see these two players do it and only mostly against each other. It's very weird. I don't mm -hmm. know if these two are just playing at a, another level that we're not at. No one else is at yet, but... Or if they're just, you know, trying things to try to just get an edge against each other. But um, I, I don't know. I'm really excited to see what happens here. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned that umbrella strat, and I, I see Snipe actually making the full umbrella where he be is uh, either by choice or by just the way it, it goes, doing a half umbrella. So um, we're we're seeing some different even umbrella strats being rolled out here. Mm -hmm. I think uh, as far as I can tell from what I've seen and from what I've sort of guessed, it's very oh. situational. It looks like he'd be auto already electing yep. to set up the roof, but he will break it down for a combo. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Generally, uh, they, they try to avoid uh, breaking those roofs down, but uh, it may have just been impossible to maintain there. Um, but uh, he's going to bring down the other side as well, so maybe we're just going to see a good old-fashioned game of, of Dr. Mario that we're used to. <laughs> And I, I swear, it, it can't just be me, but whenever they started, I'm like, oh, a huge misdrop, and then you realize <laughs> the very next pill, you're like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that is why I like to call attention to it. It's very confusing if you've never seen it before. It's like, what are they doing? They're just blocking off the edges? Like, what? why? These guys are supposed mm -hmm. to be the best. And it's like, well, yeah, they're... As as, as we often see, uh, not actually a misdrop, you guys. <laughs> so, uh, actually calculated, uh, very big All brain play. Planned. Yes, but into this match uh, right now, that that break of that umbrella that Hebe had created does leave a lot of trash over there on the left-hand side, and he's just uh, kind of struggling to get through that. Um, he does have a horizontal red set up. Um, oh, I love that play! <laughs> it turns it into a, a quad, actually, as it turns out. Uh, still pretty gummed up at the top there, but I can't imagine there was a more perfect solve in that situation. That no. was amazing. No, and, and to take that additional pill with being so high on your board and to still take the time to create a better combo, that that is the level of play you get with these two players. Mm -hmm, yeah, it's, it's a sight to behold. You don't get to see this level of versus every day. Both players, uh, 34 to 36 in virus count. Uh, I would say he has recovered very well in terms of his board health. Uh, Luke Center and the top looking much clearer. Column 8 leaves a little to be desired. Um, he is going to be able to clear out columns 1 and 2 if he prioritizes it. Um, but it looks like he's just going for any combos he can. Oh, and he extends this triple that I thought he was going to take into a quad. I think that's even technically a quintuple, which doesn't... You don't get anything for that in this game. But uh, he is just swagging at this point, I think. So while you were talking about that, Snipe made some critical plays in order to, like, it looked like he was going to top out, but then he made the exact play he needed. Again, uh, that high level play where you're delaying taking a combo for a better setup in your board. And and the fact that they can do that with being a literal co like row away from their top is insane to me. Such great playing. 
Yeah, just amazing from both. And honestly, now it sniped board looking a lot yeah. like PB Mottos did not very long ago. Um, but mm -hmm. uh, PB also stacking up in the center, mostly just to send a quad in, in Snipe's direction, followed by a double. Uh, yeah, Hebe Mato's just relentless with his aggression and his setups. Uh, I feel like at no point in the game does he ever shy away from uh, from going for that next combo at any cost. Yeah, Snipe uh, waiting on a, a T clear, got the exact pill he needed in order to take that, and trying to bring down this board, but Hebe just has lots of room for setups and a lot of um, setups already made as well. So Hebe kind of in control of this, but Snipe trying to charge back here. Mm, interestingly, neither player, either by necessity or just out of uh, strategy, no one has gone for a roof strategy as of yet. Um, Hebe motto, I feel like it's very situational uh, from his, on his side of things. He does not, uh, you know, go into every game intending to to follow through with that strap. But if that's the way the pills fall, depending on how it goes, uh, he uh, he's ready to uh, to put that plan into action if he feels it's it's to his advantage. But um, so far, it seems like he's just been enjoying his open space and sending as much garbage as possible to snipe. Wide open spaces. That's what he be like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this is this is just getting uh, neck and neck. They're they're basically the same uh, with the virus count. Snipe having a little bit dirtier of a board, but um, still trying to make some combo setups here. Um, and Hebe, look at the oh, he decides not to take it. He's gonna build a bigger combo. Oh, oh and the garbage block. falls oh, perfectly this. for the setup, and he's gonna oh, get my... an incredible quad that's just gonna open things up yeah. for him instantly. Those are when the combos. You see it. When you see it, oh, it's so great. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the sort of thing. Those are the combos that Betty B lives for, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling you, I saw it like two pills before it actually happened. And I was, oh, oh, watch it, guys, watch it. I cannot get excited enough for all of this. <laughs> Yeah, and it's been an exciting tournament and an exciting grand final so far, and we're still only in the first crown. I swear there's been some real marathons tonight, and this is no exception. And I I would I would think that Hebe does not want this to go, uh, you know, the way it did before. He is fighting back, trying to make sure that the um, the unintentional destroying of his umbrella is not going to take this crown away from him. Mm -hmm, no, and, oh, and he finds himself at the top of the board yet again. Somehow after that insane combo, uh, the insane joy-filled combo. But hey, here comes another one. Why not? And wow. uh, he's just finding his way. He's actually ahead in viruses 7 to 16, and suddenly Snipe finds himself uh, stacking a little further up uh, than we had previously seen here. Both players really uh, not doing so great in terms of board health. Really, no one is letting down uh, the pressure here. But who needs board health when you have combos like these, right? Like, just <laughs> honestly, that's their game right now is they're still trying to top out their opponent and their opponent is somebody who never tops out. You Like, I just it's insane watching this back and forth and and they're just not laying off the gas of these combos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're not trying to dig down any. No, I, I mean, it's hard to say if it's intentional or if they're just pushing each other with their garbage and the, the combo output here to, to do this sort of thing, to keep up uh, with uh, with the garbage that they're sending, each, that each player is sending the other. Oh, look, he be, he be needing this T clear, but not really giving him a, a straightforward way. Oh, another yellow clear. I did just see that, so I need to that. But he, he needs to get under this. A charity clear from, uh, or charity combo from Snipe. And I can understand why you'd be underwhelmed by some of the combos that he's getting after what we've seen, but uh, I mean, some they can't all be they can't all be uh, highlight clips, you know. So he's just doing you know the what? exactly what he. <laughs> well, don't <laughs> tell me what you can't do, but uh, <laughs> these are you know he's doing exactly what is needed. He's he's showing restraint and discipline uh, that you would expect of a champion player like Eevee Motto. No offense, Betty. <laughs> no, 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 it's great. And I know, I, I see what, what the intent here is. And oh gosh, look at that clear setting him up perfectly for a yellow horizontal. Decide, decides to do it exactly like that. And that's what he needed to get under this board. Um, and, and Snipe just 
expired in all three of his first columns over there and trying trying to make something out of this mm -hmm. honestly I, I it was hard to see but um hebe motto had a, an amazing setup that he actually passed up to make that combo that we saw a little earlier um but he could have easily just uh, not missed that and gone for the immediate combo right away but he he saw the the greater picture and i think it's really going on to benefit him here Mm hmm. I will say, you know, even even players like this do get somewhat tunnel vision in terms of, you know, I'm just going to combo like they get into modes, I feel uh, to where if they're in combo mode, nothing is going to stop them from getting a combo. But if they want to dig under, they can do that just as well. Um, and I think he is switching over into that. I need to dig down. I need to get in this um to get to this yellow or these viruses mm, that things, remain things piling up for snipe that blue garbage is uh very fortunate actually anything any other color would have been devastating for his board he would have been way high up in the center at this stage oh look oh, oh. i can't <laughs> <laughs> it's just i mean you see it too everybody sees the what these people bring to the the table and you know he be just one virus oh this is a perfect pill to get him set up to clear these blue viruses mm -hmm. and snipe will be stun locking but unfortunately not in the column that he needs uh gonna be just a double blue away and there it is hebe motto is gonna come out of game one the winner and that is one thing to note um when when they do stun lock it's kind of a, a breath of relief when it's not in the column you care about. And so you're like, yeah, keep on comboing. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you have that pill as your next next pill. So, because um, <laughs> it goes in the same exact column. Mm, I've seen it from both players, to be honest. It's been amazing to see their ability to get into a setup and then have the, uh, the foresight, maybe just from the next box or just from instinct to... Uh, know when they can extend it to the maximum and just turn mm -hmm. that triple into a quad and then when they have the agency to do that. Oh wow. These players both playing a way riskier board than I like to, but again with the way that they maneuver around this board and um, <laughs> their, their vision to see these combo setups, um, they're able to do that. Oh. Both players Look very at this high. all clear. Look at this all clear setup from from Hebe mm -hmm. he's, that he's gonna try and take. Yes, here it is. I love it. It's so good. <laughs> and then followed by another combo and another T if he wants to, if he, mm -hmm. if he chooses to take I it. I believe he will, and he does. <laughs> and uh, he's just got even more setups on the way given the correct fills. He's gonna take a double here, an unorthodox sort of L double with a red blue split pill. Snipe is looking to be in danger of going down 2 0 here if he doesn't find a way out of this. And electing to do the umbrella, it looks like, as well. On Hebe's side, at least. Mm -hmm. It looks like he is a, sort of constructed an umbrella here. I, I don't know exactly what their final strategy is, like what, what exactly the conditions are that make them want to mm -hmm. pursue that strategy, but it's been interesting to watch and sort of try to figure out when they're going to do it. I still, I think it's just purely, you know, when they see the moment, maybe they don't see it all the time, but uh, so interesting to see them uh, sort of advancing the metagame in this way. Uh, well, I don't know if it'll ever catch on for anyone else. Maybe we'll never reach that point, but it's interesting but to I see will... these guys do it. I will say, though, like with it being, um, you know, something they just kind of maybe decide at a given moment, it does take a lot of skill to make sure you're setting it up in a way that, um, you know, it's constructed and it will stay there. Mm -hmm. So it, it does take a lot of skill. And that's that's why these two players uh, have almost perfected getting that uh, accomplished. Mm -hmm. And not only that, I've found that even once you have the, the roof set up accomplished, playing within the center of the board with your pop, with your mm. side columns blocked off, it's very mm -hmm. different and it's a, it's an acquired skill. It almost You almost have to unlearn uh, playing the traditional way when you do this <laughs> because you cannot use the edges. when you, You'll get combo opportunities that you have to pass mm -hmm. up because you're just going to destroy your roof if you do it. Uh, and yep. you have to have the discipline not to ruin your plan because it, the whole it'll all be for nothing in that case. Uh, it looks like Snipe has also got a roof uh, of his own built up, but he's very high in the center. I don't know if that was the oh. way to go. 
he does find a double and every pill if any any missed input here when the pill comes out of the shoe uh, is gonna cause a top out here so he's got to be very careful oh, i don't no! know if he meant to do that play but it looks like it oh. is gonna drop down a row uh and uh but he's still not out of the woods and it's oh. gonna top him out Wow. <laughs> and right back into it, because that is what these players do. They're like, let's get past this top out that was not intended. I play better than this, and right oh, back into it. I think that I don't think that red pill mm -hmm. placement from pill Snipe was intended. It looked like he had a great setup that he passed up for no apparent reason. I think it must have been a misdrop, and now uh, he's in a very dire situation. His right side uh, very stacked up, and his left side not looking that much better. Oh, but look at this, a, a nice uh, blue to be able to take this down a little bit further on Snipe's side, but he be playing in the combos. <laughs> Wow. Wow, he'd be on his way. If he, as a reminder, if he is able to win this match, uh, we are going to uh, a bracket reset, and uh, they will have to start over again, and PB's going to need another best of five to win the tournament. So uh, he is one game away from completing that first step, so we're going to see if he's able to do it. And right now it's looking very good. Snipe at the top of his board uh, in a survival situation, um, whereas Hebe maybe with a little half umbrella there on the right, um, looking very open and clear. Um, if he continues to play the way he has been, uh, we may be in a bracket reset situation sooner rather than later. It's almost like when uh, when you make a mistake that these high level players like pounce on it and they're like, oh, you made a mistake. Let me give you some trash to go on that mistake so you can't easily take it. And that's exactly how I felt with the combos that were just like being rained on snipe after that miss flips. <laughs> mm, I couldn't agree more. Honestly, when you play against players of this caliber, um think holes in your game that you may not even realize were holes uh, mm -hmm. are going to start to get exploited by these players. Uh, you just cannot be, you forget making misdrops, you can't not be inefficient, you cannot mm -hmm. pass up opportunities, they will take every opportunity they can get and if you don't do the same in turn, um, you, you're going to regret it. <laughs> yeah, you need to be next to perfect and maybe get a crown, so like... yeah. <laughs> Ooh, some indecision it looked like on Hebe's side. Mm -hmm. Not not always uh, ill-advised. Sometimes you just mm -hmm. need to make sure, uh, you know, the misdrop will be way more damaging than the hesitation that it might take mm -hmm. to make sure you avoid it. But, uh, yeah, uh, things are looking... Honestly, they, they're always looking high up for Hebe model, but it's just not the same as the setups are incredible. And sometimes you can't even see them, but trust me, they're, they're there. <laughs> Yeah, a L clear was um, blocked by some trash by Snipe and some more trash going on top of that um, where Hebe's trying to get under it, but he's probably just going to maybe take this yellow or is he leaving that because of the umbrella? Because he could have put that double yellow um, in his column seven and then it would have dropped the reds underneath. I but think that's almost maybe certainly he's... to maintain the umbrella, yeah. Maintaining? Okay. I believe so, yes. Um... Once you have it, it's it's and if you if you ever destroy it, it's almost impossible to get it established again. So he's gonna be very uh, adverse to doing that. Mhm. Mm oh, that was next level. How do you know these pills are coming, Hebe? <laughs> Can you tell the future? This guys, this guy better go to Vegas soon. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, yeah. Tell me the new lottery numbers. I don't know. This is great. Uh, not to imply that that it's all sk uh, luck, oh. but uh, that is going to be 3-0 for Hebe Motto. That was quicker than I expected, to be honest with you. They're going to jump right into it. I don't even have time to change the overlay or anything. They're going right into the next set. They know exactly how this goes. They've been here many times before, and uh, they're not wasting any time. They're being very respectful of the audience's desire to go to bed at a decent hour. Uh, but they are both out here. Or at least you, right, Lo? Well, yeah, definitely me. Hopefully, uh, maybe all of us would rather this continued on all night, but some of us have to work in the morning, you guys. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we're going into set number two. Uh, Snipe, once again, I feel like he's not coming out of the opening quite as clean as he would like. Uh, Hibimoto just... Uh, Playing uh, with a new at a new level, uh, unlike what we might have seen previously, he's gonna get some column five garbage. It's very dangerous, but it actually is gonna charity clear him a triple and then allow him to to fix that up pretty much right away. Oh man, uh, Hebe's making some or uh, trying to 
get under the trash that Snipe is giving him, um, and a oh. lot of his clears are just being blocked with inopportune oh. colors that But he's are, gonna are... make a double horizontal oh, wow. setup out of it, but he finds a different combo instead <laughs> and then makes it anyway! <laughs> what is going on? This, this is great! I, I feel like, I feel like Hibimato has ascended before our very eyes. <laughs> I'm this telling you, I, he sees the future. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. But Snipe, when trouble once again, he is going to establish the roof on the right side while Snipe is still struggling to get out of the top of the screen here. And now, I, to be fair, he actually sort of has a pseudo roof of his own on his right. I don't even, I, I wasn't paying attention. It's possible that was intentional, but uh, I don't even know if he's going to take it down. He actually will luck to do so. The, the garbage is just a little too tempting. He just needed to make the space. He's, he's not in a position to do that just yet. Now, he be finding himself at the top of the screen, although I have to imagine it's by design, although this incomplete blue T setup is a little concerning, and he will prioritize taking that down right away. Oh my goodness. I will say, you know, speaking to seeing ahead, we did get, um, isn't he be a day ahead of everybody, you know? I, I didn't even some... consider that. I mean, this, <laughs> just for anyone who's unaware, Hibimato is a Japanese player. He is mm -hmm. in Japan right now as competing in this tournament, meaning he's in, uh, you know, a Japanese time zone. Uh, I don't even know what time it is locally for him, See but it has future. to be an ungodly hour. So the fact he's able to play at this <gasps> level is incredible. And Snipe's topped out. It's game one to Hibimato. He is taking the lead in the grand finals for the first time. If you count, I, you know, the, the second set as being a lead for him. Snipe needing a I moment. Believe, he did not start the game right away. He just needs a moment before we get into it. I believe that was a either a missed umbrella um, or a broken umbrella on Snipe's side. I was I looked away for a little bit, but I think that's what it was. So we spoke to, you know, umbrellas once they're broken. It really does take a lot to... Um, you know, get out from under that, and so I think that's might have been what happened there. Yep, uh, uh, Doc in the chat. Hi, shout outs to Doc. Uh, congratulations on a successful VBL season. Um, but he's letting us know that it is uh, noon Japan time, which means that uh, when Ooh. this tournament starts, oh no, I'm sorry to, to, I have to cut that off, but uh, Snipe is in danger. He needs a horizontal here before this garbage and tops him out. Gonna and he's gonna oh, get it over the time! And have another oh no it's blocked off for another setup clear but he, he is continuing on here um he be sending more trash but how how did they not just take take it right as they can snipe making an incredible uh clear shape i think i think i've ever seen in my life the u i've never seen a u clear somebody clip I've that never. that was insane <laughs> How was that even set up? Like, did he do it intentionally? <laughs> no I, I, I think it was I a drop setup. I, I've never seen that in my life. That was amazing. A bucket clear. I like that name for it. I like that. <laughs> We coined a new name here. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I, on the back of that clear, I think he's really starting to to bring this back. He's now got considerable space in the center of the board here, going even with Hibimato, a little behind in virus count. But honestly, the only real advantage Hibi has at this point is maybe that half umbrella on the right side of his board. But is he, uh, if Snipe can continue comboing and uh, doesn't experience any serious disruption from the garbage he's receiving, uh, he's in a great spot. Yeah, but... So Hebe is actually leading in the virus account, and he had a lot of setups just available to him. So while Snipe is uh, bringing back and clearing out the trash that was being sent, I, I still want to I tend to like what ha uh, Hebe has going currently. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Oh, look at drop clear from both players to send simultaneous pieces of trash to each other. This is just incredible play from both players. This is this grand finals has been a treat. Honestly, uh, not to get ahead of myself, but this whole tournament has been a treat. Shout outs to all of our players and mm -hmm. viewers tonight, uh, commentators as well. This has just been a really special one. Uh, but we are still yeah. in it. It is not over yet. Um, Hibimato seemingly in trouble at the top of his board needs a horizontal to clear it out. Finds a quad. Ooh. I pff, who who could who could see? Only Hibi could find it. I think. <laughs> Do you see on uh, Snipe's side that 
that red and yellow that got shifted a little bit over. I wonder if that was intentional on his end. I I, I tend to think it's not, and and that just goes. Um, he's been making a lot of uh, misplays where it's kind of tucking to the right, and he has said that he has had some controller issues with that. So mm -hmm. um, now. Again, he's still playing at such a high level, even with that considered. So, um, it hasn't been affecting him too much. It, it doesn't appear. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, he's I was just going to say, okay. yeah, for sure. <laughs> On the winner's side, no less. But, yeah. yeah, to perform at that level with controller issues is supremely mm -hmm. impressive. Now, I was trying to think, Love, uh, since uh, Snipe has taken the matches in uh, the previous month, right? Like, it's... Yeah, it's so I, I I believe the last time that Hebe Mato was in the tournament, these players both made it to Grand Finals, and I mm -hmm. believe, and I always hate guessing at this because I feel like I always get it wrong, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure that uh, Snipe was the victor in that case. I believe there was a reset uh, by Hebe Mato, and then Snipe ended up winning uh, in the second uh, bracket reset. So Oh, don't worry. Flynn does in chat. He's our, he's our go-to checker. <laughs> <laughs> Our fact checker in the chat. Yeah. Shout out to John F. Lindo. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, he be continuing to uh, maintain this uh, virus uh, lead here. Um, but I really like uh, what Snipe is putting together here. Oh, a yeah, that garbage combo. is not good. Mm -mm. Oh, he clears but it. He clears oh, it at the top oh, of the screen. Hey. That was incredible. Oh. <laughs> But as, bringing it down again. Mm -hmm, but as he's doing so, Hibimoto is taking advantage and pulling ahead. 13 viruses remaining at the, has reached the bottom of his board. He has that umbrella in the top right. He's looking strong going into this end game. Uh, it's going to take some pressure from Snipe uh, if he hopes to get to the end of his board first. Oh, I like, I like this delay of a combo from Snipe and uh, again, Sending three pieces of trash, but only only one of which actually caused any time delay on Hebe's side because of uh, the umbrella that's still well intact on his uh, six, seven, and eight. Mm -hmm, absolutely, uh, the, this is wild. I mean, it's hard to even say who's really winning here. Uh, the board health could be just about even, even though Hebe Mato's board looks so crazy. It's really not that far off. Um, looks like uh, he's trying his best to find some to make sure he can get this done with combos. Oh, finds a way to clear that red out expertly. Wow. That's, that is professional endgame play here. But, uh, Any piece with a blue, he can do something with. Oh, it just got blocked, so I, that's no longer the case. But he needs a blue, yellow, and that's what he's looking for. Oh, and Snipe is oh. holding out for a big combo. He knows he needs it in order to get through this. He's going to get double comboed, though, and this garbage is going to be ineffective. Hebe oh, is wow. very close to the end here, but Snipe is not too far behind. Maybe with enough stun lock, he can do it. Oh, just oh and he does! The blue. drop time is gonna give him some stun, <gasps> some clock! He needs two oh! reds, but it won't be fast enough! <sighs> Hebe Motto wins game two. He's one game away from completing the 6-0 sweep to take home the tournament from Losers Finals. This has been amazing, and thank you to Hebe for winning so we could get more of this fantastic play, <laughs> honestly. But, you know, it's anybody's game still. You know, Snipe has taken a game off of Hebe, or a match off of Hebe before. Needing some red on Hebe's side, gets under it, gets a major clear that he needed. Still waiting on these reds so he can have this drop clear of a yellow, um, but now needing a yellow to... And he gets it. All right. Now he can breathe a little bit. Mm -hmm. And he's finally getting some open space here. Hebe Mato, though, still struggling at the top of the board, was never quite able to recover from some of the early garbage he got after going for some pretty elaborate setups at the top of the screen. Hopefully that uh, doesn't uh, ruin an otherwise perfect sweep. Uh, but uh, that may be the case. Snipe is pulling very far ahead and is not letting mm -hmm. up on the garbage. He knows that this is the, the moment where he needs to strike. Uh, he'd be opening up column three, gets a little bit of room to maneuver. 
uh, still sending garbages o garbage over. It's amazing that Hibimoto is still able to prioritize comboing in a board yeah. state this close to the top of the screen. Uh, he <gasps> obviously... <laughs> yeah. That play! <laughs> he's, and he's still going. Uh, Snipe better be careful because the combos are not going to stop. Uh, he's going to... Uh, make sure that his center is safe, not going to take any unnecessary risks. He's going to take this combo, uh, but a triple is going to come his way from Hibimoto. And that's going to actually end up being a charity triple right back. <laughs> but it's going to take some time to draw up. Hibimoto trying to get in a position. It's going to have maybe a setup ruined here. Uh, going to take a yellow-red double, but uh, a drop cross from Snipe. He's putting the pressure on. He knows he has to let the gar he has to get garbage down quickly. Um, and maybe he can just get get on the board here right right now right here right now yeah and a nice triple uh from hebe but the snipe is running away with this crown and um sending more combos you know hebe is just trying to i think delay the inevitable here because snipe has such a clean board and he is still uh you know at at the beginning of his board here yeah, this is incredible. Uh, both players now, uh, looks like Hibimoto is, is recovering, um, but, oh, I don't know about that yellow-blue flip. I have to assume it was intentional, but I just don't see how. He is still managing to find combos, however, um, and Snipe suddenly uh, with a dangerous-looking column three that I don't think he was intending, and now he's at risk of losing his entire left side. And he does! Oh, that wow, yellow garbage is going to fall just right! He's going to leave himself space to make sure he can make this blue horizontal that he has coming up. But Hibimoto is suddenly... Uh, honestly, this this oh. could be a huge swing for him. Mm -hmm. This is not the board Snipe thought he had mm -hmm. just mere seconds ago. And um, <laughs> being cut off from a whole three columns is, is something that... They do the do to themselves with the umbrella, but they choose that. They don't get it thrust upon yeah, them. Yeah, this like is not the did. this is not the umbrella they intended for. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, this, it just goes to show how quickly things can fall apart. One rogue piece of garbage you don't attend to in time, or uh, do not uh, address effectively, um, and and you can find yourself in a situ in a situation just like this. Um, but Hibimoto, honestly, not really pulling ahead as much as I thought he would. He's still relatively close to the top, uh, keeping his combos going. Going, but uh, Snipe is definitely not out of this. Uh, any any garbage that comes Hibimoto's way could put him in the exact same situation. Yeah, and he is playing for the tournament life here because um, he is down to the last crown. Mm -hmm. He will win this. He had a bracket reset. He came in at the loser's bracket and said, I don't want to lose anymore. And he hasn't. <laughs> Yes. He hasn't, no, and uh, yeah, Snipe is uh, uh, cannot afford to drop another game here. He has got to figure out a way. Now column four is is starting to stack up. He's got, uh, without having much room, he still has, he has to find some kind of horizontal solution, and uh, he just has not been able to do so. There's these yellows that he might try and take. He does. He did end up doing it. Okay. And his column gets blocked off at the top yet again. But uh, yeah, it's, and the fast, the longer he spends treading water, waiting for an opportunity, the faster the pills are going to start falling, and the more difficult it's going to be. Mm -hmm. And again, just tr needing a horizontal to get into that. Um... Oh, that is oh. brutal garbage, and it's going to be stung and off. And filing again, he does not find one more to oh. top it out, but it doesn't matter. That is it. EB Motto 3 0 in the bracket reset finals. He will be. Your monthly checkup August champion. Unbelievable. Unbelievable that was a roller game coaster. From these two players. Uh a roller coaster doesn't even begin. That was a an out-of-body experience, I would say. <laughs> uh just incredible from both of these players, uh, from all these players tonight. I uh wow, just um the the 6 0 sweep is uh incredible achievement for sure. Um, but honestly, we've had close games pretty much all night. Uh, it's been exciting to see. I mean, I, I mean, you've been watching even out of the booth, and I'm sure I can only imagine the volume at which you're screaming at your screen at some of these matches. I just wow. Just ask the people in voice chat. Yeah, it was it was insane. I was looking in the corner of my eye of like some of the things people were putting together. Everybody has stepped up their game, and it's not even November yet. This is insane level of play. We have more monthly checkups, I, I can only assume. And 
I just can't imagine what it's going to be just a month from today. Oh, every month I feel like is a jump in, in the quality of matches. And this has honestly been the best one yet. Um, I just want to say we're, we're at, a, I believe, a peak of 34 viewers. Uh, and uh, thank you so much to everyone who's watching. Thank you to everyone who's participated. Um, Betty, thank you for the commentary. And shout out to JB Henry for some excellent commentary earlier tonight. Uh, this is uh, I was I knew that this was going to be sort of like the 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 build up tournament going into the regional this weekend. Uh, but this that was insane. If, if the regional is anything like this, it's going to be one to remember for sure. Um, but uh, any any final thoughts, Betty, before we before we close this out? You know, just keep keep on practicing, everybody. And I cannot wait to see all of you in November at our uh, Torg. Or as a lot of you I know are going to the Hartford Regional, yourself included, Lev. And I can't wait to see the show that you guys all put, to, put on for us. 